Hey guys, I'm at the train station. I found some brand new vending machines. Come on in this room right here. They've got a sriracha hot sauce machine. Isn't this awesome? Sriracha. And this machine sells rum and look at these different types of ramen you can get and dumplings as well too. That's cool. And this one over here sells pizza. Oh, it's my lucky day. Look at that gourmet pizza, square pizza. It's a bunch of different types. Yeah. This one here sells beef tongue. Yeah. Oh, the whole machine sells beef tongue, different types of varieties. Yeah, cool. And the one next door that's busy, that's a bugs machine. Insects. Yeah. All right, let's start with this one right here. Let's get some ramen. I haven't had ramen from a vending machine in ages. Let's get the pork. That pork is calling me. Look at that gorgeous looking pork. Number eight. Coming down. Oh, it's really heavy. That's a lot of ramen in there. I'm prepared with the cooler box. All right, next up, trust pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. I guess number one, the mixed pizza looks good. Let's try that. So it says the price is a thousand yen, but it was only 700. It gave me 300 back in change. 700 yen is the price for this. Okay. Let's see, maybe get another type. Uh, this is seafood right here. This is Margarita, the basic one that everybody gets. Carbonara. Carbonara. Uh, this is on the bottom. Capricho. Capricho. That looks good, doesn't it? It's got olives on it. I like that. Let's do that one. It says it's number one. So, number ten. Yeah, interesting. It says a thousand yen on the picture, but then over here, when you look at it, it's only 700. They're all 700. They discounted it, huh? I guess. There we go. Square pizza. It's pretty good size. Okay, I guess we got room for one more. Let's do some of the beef tongue here. The beef tongue. This one looks good. Yeah, it's uh, CO and miso. That's good. Salt and miso. Okay. 1300. You get 200 grams. 100 grams of each meat. Okay. 1300. One. Two, three, and this is number 11. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fresh beef tongue from my vending machine. That's the shop that makes it. Okay. Interesting collaboration here. Almost full. We got room for a little bit of dessert. What should what'll be for dessert? Should we do some bugs? Insects, anybody? What do you think guys? Insects, yes, different types of insects. Um let's do the mixed bugs right here. Mixed bugs. Oh it would eat it. They're sold out. they're both sold out though. It's too bad. There is some mixed ones available. Mixed worms. I think we're ready. We got the bugs, we are ready. Alrighty, it is time for another round of vending machines food. We got the spread here, and this is only half of what came out of the machines. Come pie to you guys, cheers, I'm just having water today. So when I list the prices down below in the video description, 
I will list the prices that are right what we have here on the table. So half of the total portion size of everything. Let's get going here. We got pizza, two different types of pizza right in front of me here. This is the ramen. I believe it's a Korean ramen. What is this called? I'm not really familiar with it. I think it's called Gashiri Ramen. It's a pork broth, I believe. And it's really thick soup. So I think we'll try that first. And over here we've got beef tongue. So I'm thinking I might use this on the pizza, maybe. <laughs> and these are two mixed pizzas. One's got olives and well, we'll we'll do that. We'll go through the toppings while we eat them. It's easier to do it that way. Okay, so first up the ramen. And here it is, the super thick ramen. And it's got just huge chunks of meat in it. That's the main event of this meat that's inside here. So, I hope you guys can see this. There you go. There's a close-up of the noodles. <laughs> They're thick noodle. Definitely a thick noodle. And I believe that's the pork right there. It's a super soft pork. We'll do the pork first, I think, huh? Shall we? All right, let's blow on it. Oh. Oh, it's stewed. Mmm. <laughs> it's a pork broth soup. Let me sip a bit of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a tonkotsu. Pork broth soup. Oh, that's thick. That is really thick. And let's go in for some of the noodles here. Mm-hmm. We've also got a dessert right here, which I will explain when it's dessert time. We don't want to spoil it. It's a secret. Haha, <laughs> it's a surprise. All right, the noodles, very thick. They're almost like an udon noodle. But, yeah, nice flavor. I think they're cooked just about right. Not not too hard, not too soft. The main event is this really super soft stewed pork that is in here. Oh my goodness. That is so good. There's a lot of meat in here. Yeah, it's really like half meat, half noodles. But, oh. Mmm. Oh, that's fabulous. Typically with ramen, you get little slices, right? But this is really just, I mean, thick chunks. I guess that is the, that's the specialty of this ramen. Big chunks of pork. So a hearty bowl of ramen for sure. And I got another bowl <laughs> in the freezer, or in the fridge. I cooked it all together, but I just put it in the fridge. Yeah. Oh, I can't stop eating this. All right, wait, we better take a break here. All right, last bite. Last bite of noodles. And some more soup. Oh, that is so good. That's maybe one of the best bowls of ramen I've ever had. I mean, considering the, the meat that's in it, the amount of meat and the tenderness, oh goodness. Yes, stewed pork, whoa, oh, fabulous. All right, let's move on into the pizza now. I'm gonna give you a close up on these these guys here. Square pizza. So this is how you know it, we're in Japan because it's got corn on it. Yeah, definitely. Corn pizza. And the texture of this is, it's very nice. I put it in the toaster oven. It was like six minutes for the two of these, and it's heavy. It's a it's a good good weight. I mean, this one is the meat pizza over here. I believe I think it's got pepperoni, olives. It's got mushrooms on it. Do we do the meat one first? We've got a bit of Tabasco here if we shall need it. I'm not sure. All right, going in for the pizza. 
the crust is it tends to be kind of like a soft but yeah yeah there's a crunch to it too mm-hmm all right it's, it's deep dish if you will it's a good crust and then it's thicker towards the the edge which is kind of nice it resembles like real pizza Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice cheese. A good amount of cheese too. Mm-hmm. And it's a pretty good sauce on it, tomato sauce. Mm-hmm. I like the olives on the pizza. Not tasting a whole lot of meat. I think it's like ham. Hmm. Pretty good. I mean, the ingredients are definitely fresh, for sure. Yeah. It's it's pretty tasty pizza. I mean, it's not nearly as meaty as the ramen. Not even close. Okay. Let's go in for the other piece, and it is a bit on the blind side. I'm going to go ahead and add some Tabasco here to the other one. Not too much Tabasco. You don't want to mess with Tabasco too heavy, or it'll just, it just ruins everything. But a little bit, just, it's all right. Okay, this one feels even heavier. It's more topping heavy than the other one. More weight to it. All right. Corn, what do you guys think of corn on pizza? How's that for you? Oh, this one's different. This one's a lot more vegetables and more tomato-y. Mm-hmm. This might be the vegetarian. Yeah, it's got a lot of tomato sauce on it. Mm-hmm. The corn doesn't bother me too much. No, it'd just be nice to have some meat on it. Oh, really? Well, ask and you shall receive. Over here, this is also from the vending machine. Beef tongue right here. Strips of beef tongue. Let me give you the close-up of this. I never really appreciated beef tongue until I came to Japan. And it's, it's very nice. It's very nice. Let's definitely put some of this on it. I should probably cut this up more, but oh, what the hey. Go big or go home, right? <laughs> All right. Beef tongue and vegetables. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Some nice flavor on it now. The uh, the beef tongue's a bit on the tough side. <laughs> a little bit tough. Try it by itself. It's easier to eat by itself. Smaller pieces would have been better. Mmm. 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 Tell you what, the Tabasco brings it alive. Mm hmm I think I prefer to have Tabasco on this one as well, too. Yep. But again, not, not too much. Okay, back to piece number one. I mean, this is pretty fresh pizza, for sure. There's definitely a freshness to it. So what happens basically is the restaurants are putting this together and then they're freezing it, putting it in their machine and then you buy it and then it's, you know, within a couple days old, I guess. It's definitely fresh. 
Mm hmm. Oh. Fabulous. So, is it frozen pizza? I mean, technically, yes, but it's prepared without preservatives and fed into that machine very often. So, it's interesting. Definitely. Ooh, oh, I'm feeling the Tabasco on my lips. Oh, oh, did I overdo it? <laughs> Maybe, no problem. Okay, so moving on here, let's move on to the dessert today. And the dessert, this is a strange one. Yeah, so also from the vending machine, I don't think I can really even call this a dessert. Oh goodness. So this is, uh, I don't mind if you click out of the video if you don't wanna see this. Mixed bugs or Worms, I believe. Mixed worms are in this one. Oh, goodness. Yeah, and these, I believe these come from Thailand. Is that right? I think, yeah, they're in. I've seen the insects machine fairly often around. There's a couple different ones. And I've tried them a few times, and it's definitely stomachable. Right, I mean, they're not raw, they're, you know, they're prepared and cooked or whatever. And it's tough to get this open. So, package inside a package. All right, well, that's good. I guess that means they might be a little fresher. Okay, I don't know, there's a lot in here. And what is it? Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm afraid to look at them. They're tiny. Oh, like mealworms. Well, basically, it's worms. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, there you go. There's the look. Pull that out of there. Oh, it's like a bowl of cereal, isn't it? Huh? So they're dried. Yeah, it's good. They're not gooey. Which, which is nice. Yeah, so definitely mixed. Oh, God, I don't really feel like I want to touch them. Skew worms. Worms. Yeah, different types of worms. There's a bunch of small ones down here. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, you're going in. I'm going to treat it like breakfast cereal. <laughs> you go in. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> Sorry about the camera, guys. It's 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 not really at the right angle to be showing you that. Okay, how's that? Okay, enough. Give it the smell test. Smells uh, savory, like salty. Okay, going in for a whole spoonful. Do we have water left? Yes, we do. Just in case. Mmm. All right. It's kind of, it's a saltiness. Definitely some good protein here. It is kind of like breakfast cereal, the texture. There's a crunchiness and then it gets soft. Yeah. And then there's kind of a dryness afterwards. Let's try some of the bigger ones here. And a bigger, bigger mouthful. Oh, oh, more crunchy. Oh, a different taste. Oh, a lot of flavors going on in this bite, the bigger ones. Mm hmm. I guess it's kind of like, it's not like anything. I was going to say trail mix, but I mean, I guess that's how you could eat it. Yeah, it comes from the outdoors, right? Trail mix, bugs. Oh. 
I mean, they're not gooey. Okay, so there's, you can take that out of the equation. There's no, what's that, you know, guts and s stuff popping out. Juices, it's all very dry. So, there's a bit of an aftertaste, but, I mean, it's not bad. You know, definitely an aftertaste. A bitterness afterwards, but, you know, there's salty snacks, savory salty snacks that, you know. Mixed nuts, potato chips, somewhere in that category they could fit, I guess. Oh, oh let's wash it down. Oh, okay. So there it was, another vending machines episode. And to be able to get pizza out of a vending machine is still a rarity in Japan. There's not that many pizza machines. I think that's this is the third one I've been to. But these new machines are popping up all over the place. And the restaurants that are making the stuff that goes inside the vending machines are, you know, it's it's locations dual together, right? You have the restaurant and you have the vending machine on the same property. So that's what's happening. So you're getting original products from, from single parties that are doing all this kind of stuff on their own. They're packaging it, putting it into the machines themselves. But the machines, in essence, are the same. Um, meaning the type of machine and the modern machine that it's a it's a frozen or refrigerated machine and then you got to take the stuff home and cook it up so it, you know it all comes with instructions and nice pictures and stuff and you know it looks gorgeous the presentations this is the pizza so they're telling you okay well you can do it how to prepare it and stuff um again i i used a uh a ran um, what a, a toaster oven for this since I don't, I don't really have a proper oven but um yeah in the uh, this is the restaurant where the beef tongue comes from so pretty interesting I think the pizza overall was uh, uh kind of middle of the road I, I prefer the Napoli style that that machine that I did was amazing the fur very first one that I did so I'm thinking I'm going to go back to that machine and buy some different types. But the pizza is really nice from a vending machine. It's it's good pizza. Definitely quality for sure. It's better than buying frozen pizza at the supermarket. You can tell there's a lot of there's tender loving care that goes into preparing this stuff. Uh, the ramen was amazing. The bugs, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, I see these machines and I figure, well... It's, it's there, and that's part of the deal. That's part of the arrangement that I've, I've got to show what is available in Japan to you guys. So if, if you guys ever visit here, this is what you're going to find. <laughs> and you should probably try it. Yeah. So let me just finish with some of the beef tongue again. And this is pretty bold, this beef tongue right here, because it's, it's a bit on the thick side. I think I mentioned that already. But typically, if you eat the beef tongue in a restaurant, it's going to be really super, super thin. So you don't really even realize that it's tongue. Because it's so thin, you, you don't notice the toughness in texture. Mm -hmm. But Yeah, this is definitely chewier because it's thicker. But it's, in a, it's a nice sauce, for sure. Kind of a tangy sauce that it's in. So that's pretty good. I mean, yeah. All right, so let me rate the meal overall. Let's see, on my rating scale between one and six, Eric had today, we're gonna go four out of six. That's right, four out of six. Did you guess it right? I wanna thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. We shall see you in the next one. Eric out.